Hey, welcome back to Curiosity Hub, I'm Ollie Hubbard. Leonardo da Vinci was awesome. And while he was painting and doing crazy stuff, he was also extremely observant of nature. And we can see in his original notebooks when he was sketching and figuring this stuff out. And he wrote down that all the branches of a tree, when put together, are equal in thickness to the trunk. So he's basically saying that if you think of a tree, no matter where you cut it, every cross section along the height of the tree, when you put together all the little bits, the area is constant. And so we can represent that mathematically as well. Okay, so we're just going to say that this is the trunk over here. Okay. Okay, and now we're basically just saying that the area of the trunk equals branch 1 plus branch 2 plus branch 3 and so on for all the branches at any height. Okay, so these don't have to be the same size. These can have a different length to radius. Okay, that's fine. Now mathematically we're just going to approximate these uh, to circles. So we're going to say that the area of a circle is just pi r squared. So here the radius, that's the radius of the trunk. Now that's going to equal pi r squared using the radius of the branch, first branch. Again for the radius of the second branch. And then again for the radius of the third branch. But like I said, there could be more. Now we're just going to cancel out pi, just divide by pi. Okay, so now you can start to see this relationship. Okay, so now this number here, so in this case it's a 2, that is the Leonardo exponent. Now modern data has actually found that da Vinci was really close with the Leonardo exponent ranging from about 1.8 to 2.3 for most species. So outside I have a ash leaf or box elder maple and I'm going to test it for myself and show you how to do the same thing. Now obviously I'm not going to cut down a tree to measure the radius of the trunk or the branches but we can measure the circumference and then we can find the radius from that and then do whatever we want. So step one, measure the trunk. Okay, step number two, measure your branches. So choose a particular height and then measure the circumference of the branches at that height. Step number three, do the math. So remember what we did here? We're just gonna do the same thing, but leave the Leonardo exponent as a variable. So rather than leaving it in as two, we're just gonna have it as a variable. Okay. So, first we've got the trunk. Is equal to 190 centimeters. Okay, and then we've got branch one. Okay, now remember, this, we took the circumference here. Okay, so twinkle, twinkle, little star, circumference equals 2 pi r. Alright, so to rearrange this, we've got to say, okay, so the radius equals circumference over 2 pi. Okay, so quick calculation, we've got the trunk is... Okay, so now we've got our radiuses here. Okay, so we just use this calculation with the circumference to get our radius. Okay, so now we're just going to sub that in to this relationship here. Okay, so I'll get a fresh piece of paper.
Okay, so here the Leonardo exponent, I've just represented it with a triangle, okay? But it's the exact same relationship as we had here. Yeah, all good. So this is the trunk radius, radius of the first branch, second branch, third branch, fourth branch, fifth branch. Okay, all good. Now we can just cancel out this pi here. Okay, so we're just left with 95. Okay, so now we've got this without the pies. Okay, and now I'm just going to represent this in logarithmic form. Okay, so I'm just going to say log 95. Okay, so I haven't done any calculation, I've just represented this in logarithmic form. Okay, and now because our calculators can't do log 95, we just need to make it log with base 10 or log with base e. So um, I'll do log with base e, which is represented with that. So again, we haven't done any calculations or anything, we're just representing it in a way that our calculator can deal with. Okay, so we're now at this point, and it's time for step number four. Guess and check. Now, I'm sure there's some eloquent way to figure this out, uh, but I just guessed and checked. So, if I sub in for the triangle, I mean, let's just say we sub in 2.1. All right, pretty close to two. If I put, use my calculator, put, put it into this. So I'm just subbing in 2.1 here, 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 here. I should get 2.1 out if 2.1 is correct, okay? But I don't, okay? My answer is 2.0932, blah, 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 blah. So it's pretty close, but it's not 2.1, okay? So when I put in the correct answer for my Leonardo exponent, I'll get the same number out here, okay? Now, I just played around a little bit, but when I put in 2.05 in, my answer was 2. 0.05060692, which is pretty close, okay? So that's a good enough approximation for me. And we can also check it, okay? So if we go all the way back, that's not very far, but if we go all the way back to this part here, yeah, this step here, let's try subbing in 2.05 Okay, and now you can test it for yourself. I won't write it out But if you put 60 to the power of 2.05 plus 31.5 to the power of 2.05 for all the rest We get 1 1 3 6 4 point zero six five four one. Okay, so three significant figures, we're pretty close. Okay, so for me, my Leonardo, my Leonardo exponent for my tree outside is 2.05. Step number five, comment what you got. So I got 2.05, which is actually really, really close to the Leonardo exponent being two. So I think that's awesome but it's not much data, just one tree. So I would love it if you guys could literally go outside, measure a tree, comment what you got, include the species if you can. I mean, I had to ask my nan, um, so it's okay if you don't. Um, but if you can, that would be great. And then I'm gonna collate all the data and see if we get something converging on two to see if Da Vinci was right. So that would be awesome if you could do that. And uh, also, if you're keen to know w why we think the Leonardo exponent is two and that trees follow this structure, I've done a video on that as well. 
So feel free to check that out or subscribe and uh, I'll see you soon. Go outside, measure a tree, comment what you got. Thank you.